I'm out here geocaching today and I've found this one before except it was relocated down that road a little ways. Um, this is a replacement for it and it's a pretty clever container. You wouldn't really think of it. But um, do you see it? A bird. It's not, not really a bird. So that's the container. And you can see he's got a little thing in him right there. So, just pop that off, pull the log out. Sign it, and put it right back. Entering the park. And I'm going to one that's 0.7 miles away. That direction. Over there. And I just noticed something. They, uh... They closed off this trail, which used to be the main entrance. New trail entrance is this way, which is the opposite way that I want to go. I decided not to go to the one I was originally planning to go to. Um, so instead I'm going to do some earth caching, which is a little different. There's no actual container. You, uh, you know, you just learn about the earth. So... Um, I'm at the first site right now. Nine, eight feet. Okay. So this is it. This is the area right next to the road, but here we are at the place. What does this have to say about it? What material is being eroded away by the path the water is taking? Tough, basalt, or and this site. Based on the time of year, there is is there water running or do you see any moisture on the rocky material? If so, estimate how much water is flowing in gallons per minute. What type of trees are predominant in the location of the ephemeral spring? So here I'm at the second location and there's boulders all around. You can see them down there behind me. And now up the hill, boulders. And trees. I think I'm supposed to estimate the size of the boulders and how old the trees are and things like that. These are volcanic boulders. So, that's cool. Time to take a picture. This one's called the Rock Quarry because it is a big area of a lot of rock, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So what we're supposed to do here is count the number of steps going down to the bottom, how many levels. And I just walked down it and I counted 15. What is the size and shape of the rock at the bottom? So down here it was size and shape. It's kind of like very small sand. Actually, if you go underneath it more, it's more like look at that. It's like a powder almost. Very smooth. How does the material get to the bottom? Well, it gets washed down with water. There's the truck over there. We're almost back. So, if you want to go into the park, uh, you have to get a pass. And it's uh, $3 for a day pass, and it expires at 11.59 p.m. of the day you bought it. So it's not, like, good for 24 hours, you know, where you can buy it, like, now. I bought it at, like, 3 o'clock, and, um, you know, because that'd be kind of cool to buy it now. And the next day, you could go early in the morning or whatever and use up the rest of your day. But, nope, it expires at 11.59 p.m. So, it's three dollars, but um, usually if I do get a day pass, when I leave, if there's somebody else who's going to be going in, I'll just hand off my pass and be like, here you go, and you can use it. So, people appreciate that, and I've had passes given to me before when I'm entering, so it all works out. It's cool. I'm going to go. Tim's up over here playing Super Mario Galaxy on a big projector screen, but anyways, I don't know if you guys watch 
happy slip or anything, but my sister does, and her recent video told you how to do this coffee and egg face mask, and she's trying it. <laughs> and you don't like coffee. No. And you're gonna put it on your face. I looked invigorating. I think you're supposed to use used coffee grounds, not fresh. Why don't you use used? Like, after you make the coffee, then you put the eggs and the used stuff and put it on your face. No, because then it's all used. This doesn't make sense. When are you going to do it? Now I need a mirror. Okay. Go quickly, I have to cook dinner. Holding your breath isn't going to work for very long. You're going to have to breathe eventually. Into my mouth. And then you're going to taste it. Mm -hmm. What? It's not in my mouth. How do you breathe without getting it in your mouth? Ooh. <laughs> what was that sound? Ooh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good luck, I'm gonna go cook dinner. Okay. Hash browned potatoes. And cat. Well, not, not cat for dinner, but cat is here. While I'm making my hash brown potatoes, that's the yolk from the egg she used. There goes cat. That's the yolk from the egg that my sister used for the face. Coffee. Where's that cat going? Crazy. So I mixed up the egg, poured it on top, let it cook for a little while, flipped it all over, and then put cheese on top. So now I'm letting that cook. And then, it'll be pretty good. I'm hoping it'll be good anyway. It usually is good. What you want, cat? What do you want? That's right. Go that way. Go sit on the carpet. There it is all done. Doesn't that look good? I think it looks good. And code red Mountain Dew. Awesome. You're always hanging around. Whenever we're having food, you're there. <laughs>